Good Sunday morning, everybody. I had another viewer request on my last video. Um, Shauna Jones requested for me to do a video on how I make my coffee. Good idea, Shauna, asking those hard-hitting, important questions. So, this video will be about my uh, morning coffee ritual. Hope you like it. Step one, I use my blender bottle for my coffee because I also put whey protein in it whenever I make it. But first things first, gotta heat it up. And that should be good enough. I've read before that you want your water just about boiling, but not quite. So that should be hot enough. Next, I like to use a French press for my coffee. I used to have a Keurig machine and I had one of those reusable cups and everything, but uh, honestly, the French press, it does not take much more effort and it tastes way, way better than a Keurig. So that's what I like to use. And since I love coffee so much, <laughs> I bought myself a grinder. I feel like you get so much better flavor out of a grinder than just buying pre-ground coffee and it only takes a second. So I think it's definitely worth investing in. I got that off of Amazon, probably about $30. I've had it for a long, long time. And y'all, I make coffee at least once every day and it's never given me any trouble. So this is an old protein um, container. And that's where I keep my coffee beans. Just try to have somewhere airtight for them. I buy the coffee beans five pounds at a time off of Amazon and they last me for a long time that way. That's about enough. And I'll turn this part down too. Coffee grinder's not as loud as the Ninja Blender, but hey, try not to blast your ears. Alright, that should be good, and then I'm just going to put it in there. Copy. Okay, now we're ready to go. Coffee is not quite done yet. I'm going to get my cream out of the fridge. Okay. Coffee water is done. It's just about boiling. You can see it bubbling in there, so that should be a good temp. And we'll just pour it in there. Okay, now while that's sort of brewing, I add in my little shaker thing and I add in my sweetener, which for me is more of the stevia or stevia, however you say it. good and I also had a viewer tell me that if you use molasses instead of honey that should help with your iron and molasses does have some iron in it so I've started using molasses in my coffee instead of a little bit of honey sometimes I don't use honey at all if I'm really trying to cut down on my sugar I'll just use the stevia and leave it at that but here lately I've been doing a little bit of molasses in there Molasses is very messy. All right, now we will press the coffee. And I'm telling you, if y'all have never tried French press coffee before, it's really good. You can make it as strong as you like. And having those fresh ground beans, it's just way better than using a Keurig. So, pour out all our coffee. And I give it just a minute so that all of that liquid down there can come out too. 
but none of the grounds will. And really, that was quite minimal effort to make coffee. I'm not sure why anybody uses a Keurig, really. Not when you can get much better coffee like this for just slightly, slightly more effort. It's probably cheaper on the whole than a Keurig, too, because after your initial investment of a French press and a coffee grinder, you're set. All you gotta do is buy the coffee, which you're gonna do anyway if you use a Keurig. All right, then I add in my cream. The cream helps to cool it down a little bit. The dogs are playing underneath me. Sorry if you can hear them. <laughs> well, that's all I had in that one. And I've got plenty more cream in the fridge because, you know, got to have reserve for coffee. So the cream helps cool it down for a little bit. And, um... Since I eat, you know, high protein and high fat, I use heavy cream. No half and half for me in this house. But you use your creamer of choice, almond milk, whatever you like. And then again, I put some more protein in there, about a half a scoop. Just to help supplement my diet. And here we have it, my coffee. I'm ready for my day to start. If um, y'all are interested in getting a French press or the coffee grinder that I use, like I say, I've used them both for years now. They've never given me any trouble. I will link to the ones that I bought off of Amazon down below. It is an affiliate link, but um, you know that doesn't raise the price for you. It just gives me a little kickback if you decide to buy one. So with that, I will drink my coffee and post this video. Hope y'all enjoy. See y'all next time.